To speed up user workflows, Creo Parametric 4.0 introduced hotkeys. For example, if I put my mouse over the extrude icon, I get the tooltip. You'll notice that next to the name of the command, the letter X is in parentheses. In other words, when I click on the X key, it automatically puts me into the extrude tool. If you want to customize the hotkeys, go to File, Options, and Keyboard Shortcuts. And here we can see all the different commands in part mode. And if I scroll down, you can see some of the different shortcuts that are in here. And what might be helpful to see which ones are already in Creo Parametric by default, you can go to the Show drop-down list and change to Commands with Assigned Shortcuts. And this way we can see that, for example, if I scroll down here, P is for creating a datum plane. You'll notice that others use keyboard combinations using control and shift. And so you can create whichever uh, keyboard shortcuts that you want using a single keystroke or control plus a keystroke or control and shift and a keystroke. And let's take a look at what happens when I try to assign one with a conflict. So for example, if I'm looking for the revolve command, let me start typing in R E V. Oh, there's revolve right there. And then for the shortcut, let's say I want to use the letter R for that. And the letter R, if I hit the letter R, it tells me, hey, wait a second, R is already used for creating a round. Do you want to reassign it? And if I do that, then the letter R will be used for rounds, and then I could assign something else to round, maybe like, you know, I don't know, F or fill it or whatever, but F I believe is already used as well. So let me click no, and I'm not going to make that conflict. But if I hold down Shift R, there I could use that as the keyboard shortcut, and you'll notice that I didn't get an error. Now here's one thing to note about these keyboard shortcuts. Right now I have a part open, and so it's showing me the keyboard shortcuts in part mode. Unfortunately, you need to be in the correct mode of Creo Parametric to see what the keyboard shortcuts are for that particular mode. It's sort of like in the video on customizing the quick access toolbar, I mentioned how you had to customize it in Creo Parametric 3.0 for every different mode that you wanted to use, which was a pain in the neck, and they fixed that in Creo Parametric 4.0. Well, unfortunately for these hotkeys, it is mode dependent. For example, let me click OK out of here. And in another, oops, another window, I have an assembly model open. If I go to File, Options, and then Keyboard Shortcuts, again, I can go to the drop down list and see the commands with assigned shortcuts. And here you can see, for example, the letter A is for assemble. And you can see the other different keyboard shortcuts that are assigned here. And same thing for a drawing. Hop over to a drawing that I started. File, Options, Keyboard Shortcuts. Change from all commands to commands with assigned shortcuts. And you can see the ones that have been set up already for drawing mode. Another thing to note about this. If you already use a lot of map keys, you're going to want to deconflict those. And I've heard stories of some organizations that have had issues with that where they upgraded to Creo Parametric 4.0 and forgot or weren't aware of these hotkeys. And all of a sudden their users were saying, hey, I was trying to use our standard map key for doing this. And all of a sudden some other tool opened up. So just make sure that your hotkeys or excuse me, the predefined hotkeys and the ones that you make don't conflict with any of your different map keys. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.